His big scoop this uh, Sunday in his newsletter, the Power On newsletter, which I pay for, is, so that you don't have to, is, <laughs> he does say that Apple has been testing in-house an AI uh, chatbot. They've been testing it with Apple employees, which is kind of interesting. This is actually the other story. Um, I thought that was kind of uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, and, he, and it's a little bit of a... Uh, he does a little punch thing where he's like, they should, they should do it. I, I don't know about, I mean, the internal tool, like, okay, but I don't disagree on the idea that people are used to talking, to typing to things now, right? And they have this type to Siri feature. I don't think it's unreasonable to say you should be able to type to Siri whenever you want, which you can now, and it should remain, it should understand your context. And it should probably have an interface that lets you create new chats and go back to your old chats, at which point it's basically like all of the other AI apps, except it's typed to Siri. He also says it'll enable full iPhone navigation through voice control. And this is what they've built, an internal chatbot app called named Veritas, submitting queries without the need for voice interaction. So employees can type requests, receive information, and hold back and forth conversations as they would with ChatGPT.